Let the peace, love, and blessings of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The duty of a crusader. Everlasting gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth, leader Olumba, Olumba, Obu, the supernatural teacher. Spiritual food. First Timothy chapter 6, verses 17 to 19. Charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high, high minded nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God who giveth us richly all things to enjoy, that they do good that they be rich in good works, ready to distribute, willing to communicate, loving, laying up in store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come, that they may lay hold on eternal life. Quote, Beloved brethren, you have been given the right of stewardship. How have you utilized it? Have you rendered adequate account? God has never made mistake in apportioning duties to people. There is always a chairman, a treasurer, a secretary, and many other executive members to pilot his affairs because he knows that if any of these posts are lacking, the assignment will not be accomplished. Never has God commissioned anyone on any assignment and abandoned him or her midway. When the world elects you as the president of a country, they will commit all resources into your hand and thereby make you a rich man. How much more if God commits his resources into your hand? The problem we have in this world is that there is no honest person. When you are appointed a treasurer, you embezzle all the resources which has been put at your disposal. The same thing is applicable to the chairman, to the secretary and other positions of this world. They misappropriate resources. But here in this kingdom, it is different. That is the reason if a group of people want to do something, they will do it equally so that it might not bring trouble in the sense that if one person does anything more than others, there must be the spirit of dominance amongst them. The one who does more will want to overpower others. The Holy Father has imparted unto us sufficient pieces of advice that we should not boast because of wealth, nor because of fleet of cars, nor because of any of the material riches of this world. For none of those things belong to you, but only boast of God. Whatever the assets or the knowledge and indeed anything God has given to you, use it to render services unto Him. Anything God has bestowed on you should be used for His services. Let all your boast be in the Lord. All the things God has commissioned you to 
superintend, use it for and to the glory of God. For it is stated that where your wealth and belongings are, there lies your heart and mind. Therefore, if all your wealth is with God, it therefore means that your heart and mind is also with God. But if your wealth is in the world, it therefore means that your heart and mind is in the world, and you cannot be of any useful service to God, you are not also worthy of this kingdom. A lot of you are self-defeasers. A lot of you are self-deceivers and tricky people. You claim that you have surrendered unto God and you want to render services unto Him, whereas your heart and mind are focused on the material wealth of this world, and that is the source of your problem. The International Crusade Fellowship has extremely performed below expectations. Everything goes on the way it is challenged, it is channeled. Rather than gain anything from them, we lost. Two people will dominate the meeting and will influence others and even discourage the interests of many people with tricks, with falsehood and cunning and lies. Therefore, let all the crusaders come together and cooperate so that they can achieve the aim and objective of the Crusaders Fellowship. God has the power to commission us to accomplish any assignment, for we are His servants and laborers. He is at all times supervising your assignments, for you shall receive reward according to your labor, and whatsoever you do shall come after you. That is the reason why this gospel has been imparted unto you. You are now commissioned to go and inform the rich and the wealthy people that they should not hope nor have faith in their wealth or allow their minds to be focused on these beggarly and mundane things but that they should only rejoice in God and use all the resources He has given to them to render service unto Him. Most importantly, we should give Him respect and honor and also believe that He is the doer and the owner of all things, both in heaven and on earth. And by so doing, peace will prevail in the whole world. That is what made Christ's crusaders, who were also his apostles, to be steadfast in rendering services to God, even when Christ was not with them anymore in the flesh, but in spirit, for he had laid a solid foundation. Anywhere Christ's crusaders go, they do so with the spirit of oneness, with love, and they share all things together from a common purse. That is why Christ was spiritually present with them and directed them. Therefore, the crusaders must let the spirit of togetherness prevail amongst them, for we are all one. Let us pool our resources together. Wisdom, knowledge, power, love, humility and mercy 
and render adequate service to God for the fulfillment of his glory. For an adage has it that united we stand, divided we fall. Do not go around the world boasting and claiming that you are a crusader of God and that you are rendering service to God. Look at Cotonou, India, and many other places. The crusaders claim that they want to evangelize. One wonders what they have achieved or done there. They have done nothing. Therefore, if you are commissioned to accomplish any assignment that you are not capable of promptly disclose your... They have done nothing. Therefore, if you are commissioned to accomplish any assignment that you are not capable of, promptly disclose your unwillingness or tell the person that you will not be able to do so, that you do not deceive yourself and the one who has entrusted the assignment to you. Do not accept duties because others have done the same. That one who had accepted might have known his ability, but you do not know your ability and how to accomplish the assignment. Let us all realize that the Crusaders are the leading light of any evangelical process. A large number of Crusaders are beneficiaries of the Father's grace in terms of health and material resources too, but they will not come forth to use it to render services to the Father. Therefore, you are all expected to pool your resources together and uplift the glory of God. Let the spirit of love prevail amongst us. For where there is love, there is bound to be the spirit of oneness and togetherness. I know all of you individually and every bit of what you do for as you are performing them, I am supervising you. And if you are not competent to be a crusader, give chance to those who are competent because God has never deceived man. The true crusaders are coming into this kingdom and will accomplish a lot of assignment and you will be very surprised because I only seek at least one truthful person. Therefore, brethren, I do not intend to be tedious with you. Realize that all that you do, you are doing it for yourself, whether it is good or evil. Therefore, lay up in store for yourself a good foundation against the time to come that you may lay hold of everlasting life. But the crusaders have not had a good have not laid a good foundation. Hence, on what will you base your hope? Let us set up and organize ourselves, whether in peers or in trees, provided oneness of mind prevails on two or three people in all the assignments of the crusaders, then one will see that this work will be revealed and the glory of God will be revealed. Whatever assignment you desire, to accomplish if you associate it with tricks 
and falsehood, you will not be successful. On the other hand, if you commence or approach any assignment with one mind and wholeheartedly, you will be successful. The Holy Spirit is watching all of us and what we are doing if we render service to God with one mind and with our whole heart, He will elevate us. Let us refrain from attributing anything to anyone apart from the Holy Spirit. Let us refrain from boasting of the wealth we possess. And let us also not rejoice because of our wives or our children or of any other thing. Rejoice in the service of God and promote the activities of this kingdom because that is what will spearhead the progress of this kingdom. Brotherhood of the Cross and Star is the Crusaders' Fellowship. Therefore, let us allow the spirit of oneness and truth to dwell amongst us so that we all will have a lot of members throughout the world. Witness! Philippians chapter 2, verses 2 to 3. Fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem others better than themselves. Brethren, that is what I have for you. It is said, a stroke of the cane is sufficient for the wise. He who has ears, let him hear what the Holy Spirit has imparted to the entire world. May the Father bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.